chicken eggs from Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but this stuff, when we mix it, the beer and eggs together, I think women have been using that on their hair for the last couple hundred years. Good stuff, and we'll take and massage that right into their coat, right into their hair, down into the skin. Nice, rich chocolate stout. We'll see how that makes the <laughs> makes the hair pop. We'll mix that up. Get all them eggs in there. And break those yolks up. Get that all mixed up good. That's a good boy. And after we get this all rubbed into that skin, we'll let that sit on there for 20, 30 minutes or so. Good boy, buddy. You like that. Well, we stretched it out so we got it through him. Now we'll just keep rubbing that right into his skin. Right into that hair. You can almost see that color start to come out in him right now. Yeah, we've got that rubbed in pretty well, so we'll just kind of let him kick back and throw him out in an exercise yard for 20, 30 minutes. Then we'll put a little shampoo and rinse it out. And remember, we're just getting this guy started. So we've got Get this rolling. Keep pulling a little of this dead coat out. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Oh, that's a nice boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. All right. We'll let him down for a little bit. Touch a boy. That's a good boy, son. I'll take a little shampoo here. Put the shampoo right in him without water. Right in over top of our stuff. Uh, mix that in there. Once we throw a little water on there, that'll suds up and we'll rinse all that stuff out of them. One of the things about using the, the, that beer and egg mixture is it protects the skin and the coat. Does such a good job working on giving the nutrients to that skin and hair that you don't really need any kind of special shampoo. Just, just take an all around decent shampoo and it'll work just fine. That's a boy. Good boy. Make sure you do a good job of rinsing just to make sure you don't leave that soap in there. Good boy. What do you think of that? Huh? Huh? You feel better? Good boy. Super. Super. Yeah, we'll take and brush you off. Oh, you going to go back in there? <laughs> yeah. Come here, kid. Come on. Good boy. All right, son. Come on, kid. There you go. That's a good boy. Thank you, sir. So anyways, we're getting a start on this guy now.
Good boy. get after these and do these every couple of days and get those nails right back close to where that hairline is and good job buddy Good job, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, and I think that coat for pretty much being out of coat, that, that outer hair feels pretty good and firm and coarse. Got a pretty good overall luster to it, I think. Just got a lot more shine than it did when we first started on this dog earlier this afternoon. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Even with him being out of coat and stuff, you can even see that the tan, a little richer looking. As they come back into coat, they're, normally their color is a little more vibrant as well. That's a good boy. Well, that's enough for you. Good job, buddy. Stay. Here. Good job, bud. Okay. You know, you got to be a little more careful with this on her skin, I right. think. This one seems to be a little more gentle on the right. skin. It was designed yeah. for that. Will it still grab as much hair? Well, what, huh? are you, what are you feeling? Well, it goes through that. It goes. It goes through everything a little easier. That's the titanium coating. Okay. But then I'm not sure that it was grabbing. So, in that um. sense, there, because that one is designed to make it so you don't accidentally do too much. I can still get as much out. It just take a few more strokes. Yes. Now, well, that's all right. Here's the other thing too. By using this comb, you're more prone to get coat out over a period of time. So it comes in layer after layer like shark's teeth. When you use that blue comb, when you pull that out, it's all gonna come back in. Everything that you pulled out is all gonna come back in at one time. The theory with rolling the comb is that you just basically bite the bullet take a little bit out each week and then a little bit will come in each week so what happens is you never get a period where that coat goes through a blow and you're lacking coat or you're never able to do them right so if you use this tool and and also the, the rake like that where it's not taking out tons mm -hmm. It kind of forces you to, to do the right thing. The tools, it's like a, a smart tool. The tool will automatically 
take out the right amount for this grooming session. Then when you come back in next week, you do another grooming session, you know, five minutes to 15 minutes. Then the next week you do another grooming session, five minutes to 15 minutes, and you'll always have the right amount of coat coming back in. But if you use a more aggressive tool, and you take too much out, and pull it all out, all comes in. All comes back in, and then you have to kind of even that out. Sure. So this may take a little bit longer, but your end results will be much better. Mm -hmm. look, but look at how good that's doing on that blade. And you can come in here with this angle in here. And you rub on the hole. Yeah, and you can actually use What is that pulling, just like a little it's, undercoat it's then? It's pulling just a little bit of undercoat. Stuff that's ready to come out there. You can even work it up here. Well, if that pulls on that hair like that, when you're trying to flatten out some of those elbows when they're coming at you a little wide, that would be a nice little tool for that, right? Eh? And this is a little bit more of an aggressive type of... More aggressive, using the direction that the hair grows. You know, so you could certainly, when you're trying to make those legs nice and straight, 